Hello everyone, Dark Blaine here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I am on my free-to-play account. There's a new Voyage of Wonder that is on the live servers, so I just wanted to go through and just show you guys how to uh, do this uh, new Voyage of Wonder. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the Voyage of Wonders now over to the Voyage of Wonder tab and it'll be down here it's called the Ancient Seal this is the new Voyage of Wonder so let's look at the rewards here for the big chest you get 10 Stargazer cards which is always very good from the Voyage of Wonders if you see 10 Stargazer cards you know you should you should complete it to the very end. Well, if you see any rewards, you should complete it to the end, but especially the Stargazer cards. And then you get the normal rewards, you get some resources, some elite, and a rare soul stones, some emblems, po coins, and then the hero, uh, the gear reset scrolls. So those rewards are pretty much normal. I'm just going to uh, read through the description of this ancient seal now. In those days of malevolence, three brave men, a swordsman, a mage, and a craftsman, fought to defend their home, employing their exceptional skill and wisdom. They crushed the demon's minions, pursuing them all the way to the cavern hideout, planning to of destroying the demon that threatened their home. After the battle, the demon fell into a deep slumber. The exhausted warriors, unable to finish it off, were left with no choice but to seal it away in order to end the threat once and for all. The mage and craftsman transform the cave where the demon rests and established a rigorous trial. They hoped that in the future brave individuals of considerable talent and power would be able to totally eradicate the demon's scourge. Centuries later, the exploits of those three brave men have descended into rumor, a jumble of truth and fiction falling from the mouths of drunkards. Little do they know the demon is about to stir. So that is the ancient seal, the description. I'm now going to go and click the begin adventure button and just to see what this adventure is about here. Okay, here we are. We start out with Muriel and Rain. You sure there's a treasure here? Not totally, but there's so many rumors in Rustport's bar. A few are bound to be legit. You said that last time, and look how that turned out. You heard there was a vampire from some rumor in Rustport, but it was just a sailor with gingivitis, and let's not forget the time before that, and before that too. I've got a gut feeling this it's true this time. You said that last time too. How about we fight and the winner decides our course of action? It's fine. There's a village ahead. We can ask around there. Okay, so first of all, you just really want to explore because there's shadow all around you. And as you can see, there's a, a castle looking thing here with an exclamation point above it and there's also a uh, a, a house here as well. What you want to do is you want to talk to these uh, houses here. This is the cheese house. You would just want to talk to the people here. And it looks like here's Angelo. Good adventures. There is indeed treasure in our village. See, the rumors are true this time. Still surprisingly considerate of the village to just declare it so frankly. Extinguish that flame of yours. Didn't you just aim a gun at the chief? He's a sigh of relief. If you can defeat the demon, the treasure is yours. Demon? It's a long story. Put that gun away. I'll keep it short. Okay, so we have to defeat the demon. And then we have to return to uh, the chief's house. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, this cottage here. 
see what this cottage has to say. Looks like Oscar's in it. Good adventure bandits robbed us just outside the village. All our belongings were taken from us, including a book that has great importance to my friend. The bandits' stronghold is not far from the village. If you can help retrieve the book and return it to my friend in town, he will be reward he will reward you well. So there's a book we have to retrieve and, and then we have to go to the town and give the book to the uh person in the town here. I'm gonna go up here first. There's two paths, I'm gonna go choose the upper path. And here's where you meet your first uh camp. Go ahead and defeat this camp up here. Okay, I took down that one. And as you can see, you get no relics from these uh, battles here. Just keep that in mind, you get no relics. Now I'm going to go over and defeat this one here. That one's also taken down. And then you have two chests here. You can go ahead and collect the rewards immediately. And there's also this chest here. And it's an ant the antique book. Doesn't look like it belongs to a bandit. After all, most bandits are illiterate. So you pick up this book, and this book is this is the book where you'll take it to the uh, the town and give it to the friend, like the cottage, uh, the person in the cottage said. But before we do that, I'm gonna go down here to this one and defeat this enemy down here. Okay, that one is also down. Zolrath is very hard to. It's a very difficult uh, hero to go against. Had to do that that battle twice. So then you can collect that reward. And then you can go up to the town here. This is where the town is. And this is the this is the friend that the cottage person said at the end. Go ahead and talk to this person. It says, Oh thank you, the book is so important to me. I am a scholar trying to restore ancient techniques, and this book contains a great many. Check this out. A long burned lamp fueled by lava once lit it will keep burning for decades. And this. Ahem, I'll pass. Bounty hunters deal in cash for their services. Okay, so you get an acorn from that. And there's also the general store up here you can also talk to. And it has Rigby up here. Warriors, I need your help. Those damn maulers robbed my shop. They reside by the lake under the volcano just outside the town. Get rid of them and I'll reward you. So, there's... If you go up here, up towards this path, you'll see a, another enemy. I'll just go ahead and uh, beat this enemy as well. And that one's down. Go ahead and collect uh, this chest immediately. You see you're immediately faced against another enemy, which I'll also take down as well. Now one's taken down there. And we'll just continue going up. And you'll see this here. This is a Mauler dwelling. You want to take this one down as well. Now that one's down. And as you can see, the gate opened up and you're met with another chest here you can collect. Now uh, remember this volcano here. This volcano will be important later on in the adventure. Just remember that there's a volcano up here. So we're gonna go back down here and we're gonna go just explore some more, just open up some more of the shadows just to see where there's where other everything is. That's the end of the town. It looks like the only path now is up through here. We're going to continue and you'll see there's another uh, a camp here. We're going we're gonna to take this one down as well. And there we go. That one's down. going to continue along the path and then you'll see there's two paths here. I'm going to go down to this one first. Go to go to this bottom path, and there is another uh, camp here that I will go ahead and beat. And there's that one down. And there's another chest here. 
There's also this here, this Explorer's Camp. You can go ahead and talk here, and there's Rowan. Is this the star stone, star stone you spoke of? I picked it up in the cavern. I went to retrieve my forefather's lost long burnt lamp, but this is all I found. You want this stone? Listen, if you can find the long burned lamp, I will gladly give it this stone. Long burned lamp? That seems a, to ring a bell. The man is talk. The man talking in town. I think he said something about lava. Right. We'll bring back the long burn lamp. Don't try fooling me with a normal lamp when you come back. The one I want burns continuously. Okay, so we have to bring the long burn lamp to Rowan. So now we can go up to this uh, top path up here and do some more exploring. And there is another elite camp up here as well. Another Zolrath. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard here. Okay, I took down that one as well. Now we'll just continue exploring. Go up through here. And you're met with uh, three doors here. Well, actually, it was just one door, not three. I'm with one door, and then there's these little uh, start little things here. You want to go up to this one, and this is the Sun Cave. A Sun Temple is at the cave entrance. Complete the cave trials to obtain the Sunstone and open the Moon Cave. So we're going to click Confirm, and that disappears. And now you're uh, going to have to face off against uh, this camp here. And there's that one down. That one's also down. Okay, let's continue. See, there's a chest right there. And then you come across this uh, puzzle here. So, okay, I'm going to go and click this. This is the Trial of the Sun. Touching the corresponding crystal pillar changes the state of that pillar and the neighboring pillars. A dim pillar will glow when touched, and a glowing pillar will become dim when touched. Eliminate all the pillars to pass the trial. Okay, so you have to eliminate all these pillars. There's a specific way you can do this. It's pretty easy if you do it uh, this way. You can start illuminating this uh, side pillar here, and you can illuminate this side pillar. And then you can eliminate this one on top, and then this one on the bottom so that you have this uh, diamond shape and then you can go ahead and click all four corners illuminate that corner and then illuminate this corner and then the bottom corner here and then finally you can go and uh, illuminate that corner trial of the sun passed and then you can go and collect this uh, sunstone here Got the sunstone, and now I'm gonna go over and do uh, these two camps that I see. Okay, that one's down. Go and collect this chest here. Get some emblems. And then you can also go and uh, do this camp as well. Okay, now that one's down. And collect this chest. Has some more emblems in it. Now we do not need to go back here. And now we can go down to uh, this moon cave, click confirm, because we got the sunstone. Now we can go down to the moon cave. Now we're going to have to defeat this uh, camp here. And there's that one down. Now we'll just go here, and here's the moonstone challenge here, the trial of the moon. Follow the correct sequence to open the mechanism and pass the trial. Okay, so there's a certain way you're going to have to press, you're going to have to light these uh, pillars here. And here, here, and here is the uh, way you do it. First you start off with this one, you use this one, and then you light this bottom one here. And then you go over to the left, use that one, and then the right. And that's all you have to do, and that's it. That one's very that one's very easy. You get the moonstone. Then you can go over and uh, get this camp down here. 
And there's that one down. Go ahead and collect this reward here. Just some more emblems. And you can also go down here, see what's down here. Which again, just some more uh, camps here. And there's that one. Go ahead and collect this here. Which is the Po coins. Let's go ahead and continue. And it looks like we're going to have to defeat this camp in order to get that chest there. And that one's down. Now we can go ahead and uh, get the unlit long burn lamp. Now this is, it's unlit here, so, and Rowan wants the lamp to be lit. So, you're probably wondering how do you do that? Well, if you remember, I said, remember to, remember the volcano that was up here. What you can do is light the candle, light the, yeah, just light the lamp with this volcano. So yeah, I'm going to go over to the volcano and light the lamp. There it is. Now, now it's a lit long burn lamp. And now you can go down to the explorer's camp where Roan was and just give Roan the lamp now. If you try to give Rowan the unlit lamp, he'll just tell you that he wants a lamp lit. So there we go. This is indeed a long burn lamp. The stone is all yours. So now we got the star stone. And so now what you do, since you have you have the sunstone, the moonstone, and the star stone, what you can do now is click the stone mechanism and use all three stones to open this uh, final door. You can you can go over here if you want to, but it's, yeah, there's nothing there. So yeah. And then you can go up here, and this is where the demon is. This is the final one here. It has all Hypogean heroes. Okay, I'm not... I've tried this one a couple times. I'm not able to beat it. So you can just simply... Defeat this one, get the chest, and then you can then go, and then a, por a portal will open actually. If I go back up here, a portal will open right here. Simply go through that portal, it will take you all the way over, it'll take you all the way down here, and then simply go back here. You can then talk to the chief's house again and then once when you talk with the chief's house it will open up this final reward here for you sorry i'm not able to uh beat this one but just i've been i've tried it quite a few times and i've not been able to do it with this with this account also another little thing you can do you've collected quite a few acorns here you can also use you can use those acorns over in this little house over here. I didn't mention it before, but there's a little shop here with with relics in it that you can use these acorns. I believe you get you get either two or three. I believe it's you get three acorns that you can use on a, on your adventure. So yeah, that's pretty much the that's pretty much the ancient seal. Yeah, just. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't able to get the final reward, but that's fine. It's pretty simple from from the demon from killing the demon. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment anything you want me to do in AFK Arena, and I might do it in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.